there, there was one feature uh, Dan forgot to show everybody is that uh, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to say, but how screw it, I'm going to say it. What is up, everybody? Yesterday, David was in a two hour long Twitter space with VV Magic, Silicon Secure, and Mr. MC1, and he revealed a ton of surprising stories about the VVverse and his vision for the VV ecosystem in 2023 and 2025, including some very exciting partnership announcements. Obviously, many of these stories were never mentioned anywhere else before, and I think you will like them a lot. I'll talk about three of them today. First, one major VVverse feature that was available at DCON but was not shown to anybody was the ability for multiple people to use the AR mode at once. This is not about VR because VR is obvious that multiple people could use VR at once, but this is about the AR goggles that people put on during the Vverse demo. So if you remember during Decon, people line up to try out the um, Vverse experience through the VR headset. So you put the headset on, you can see the house in the Vverse, but that was only one person experience it. David revealed that it is possible for multiple people to put on multiple different headsets and look at the same Vverse house and collection. He also mentioned one way to create that mass adoption for the Vverse will be to give everybody a QR code. And then if you share that QR code with your friends or family, then they can just scan it with their phones and uh, your Vverse home or collection or showroom will pop up on their phones. So what I can envision is that maybe two years from now when the Vivos is fully operational and when VR and AR headsets are affordable and popular enough that everybody should have one or at least the majority of us who are into NFT, into VV should have one. People can come to these offline events like Decon or even VVCon with their AR glasses. So it's not going to be the bulky headsets anymore. It's going to be AR glasses. They can scan the codes and everybody will be able to visit each other's VV house or showrooms and you know just have a great time talking about these collectibles and admire each other's showroom designs and those kind of things i actually had this experience once and when i asked my friend grubber b og he's one of the biggest worlds on vb over 2500 collectibles he has tons of nfts right i asked him to design some showrooms and share them with me and shout out to grubber b who spent hours working on his showrooms he shared them with me and i and my good friend eddie who was my first ever interview guest we went in to his showroom uh, well i opened the showroom i film it and then we all watched the footages together and talked about them it was a lot of fun to go through his showrooms and look at the different collectibles because grub has over 2500 collectibles right he has tons of nfts and the nfts that he put in his showrooms were all sub 100 mint so you know if you check out that video you'll be very amazed we had a great time and i'm sure that experience will be enhanced exponentially when we have that capability to do it inside the vvverse so that will take us to the second story that got me really excited is actually David's vision to make the Vverse the third place between work and home. So what does it mean by being the third place? The third place is sort of like a warm and welcoming place outside of your work and home where we can connect and maybe build a community or maybe be a part of a certain community. Okay, think of Starbucks. Starbucks is the most popular third place out there or your local coffee shop. It's not work where you go from 9 a.m. to 5 5 p.m. which can be you know stressful and hectic and it's not home where it can be kind of boring sometimes starbucks is the place is the third place between work and home where you would go to you know catch up with your friends or hang out with some other people or just have some time for yourself enjoy a cup of coffee and read a book right so vverse will be something similar to that and i can see myself using the vverse as my third place already for me what i do is like when i i, I would get up i work exercise i spend time with my family and I spend the rest of my free time usually the whole evening on VV because I create content I like the community a lot so that's where I hang out and you can think of it as many other social media platforms long story short David envisioned the viewers can be the place where people can hang out and chat about whatever but it's gonna have a strong focus on fandom where people can connect based on the IPs and the brands that they grew up loving and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun I think this will be a great content 
concept uh, and it will work they can actually make it happen uh, and personally i try to set my expectation very low simply because i think it's gonna take at least another year or two but it's gonna take vv to a whole new level and here's why nowadays the biggest problem with socialize and vv is that the majority of vv fans don't use the vv social feed to socialize people would go on facebook twitter youtube so you know we have a lot of that organic engagement and energy that should have stayed in the vv ecosystem but ended up going elsewhere because and you know people will get distracted by other apps and projects and products or whatever um so we have a lot of that organic engagement and energy that should have stayed in the app but the app is not at a good place to capture those attention so we lose a lot of that but you know any product any improvement that can build that engagement and that socializing aspect and keep it in the app will greatly help the community to you know just bring people together and and have a better time and have a stronger bond between everybody and number three last but not least david mentioned that they will be announcing some partnerships in the sport and concert vertical in 2023 and he also mentioned the concept of branded or ip museum exhibition so let's talk about concerts first one very clear example of how successful metaverse concert can be okay i'm not saying that it will be successful guarantee i'm just drawing an, an analogy from another successful example which is the uh, travis scott concert in um in uh, fortnite it was a very short concert only 15 minutes but over 12.3 million people attended okay that was travis scott concert in fortnite it was an all-time record um for an in-game event but prior to that marshmallow the, the dj marshmallow also threw a concert in fortnite and uh, it, it drew in over 10 million people you know with the 2023 focus on new verticals like sport and music i can totally see concerts being in the roadmap of the vivos and on the marketing plan as well obviously again it's not going to show up in 2023 it might be in 2024 or even 2025 but it's going to be very exciting you know speaking of museum exhibitions i think that would be really cool as well because again it's, it's even though we can see all the nfts that are available in the app it's different when we can see them in the showroom i don't have you know the partner satu or donnie i don't have any of those so i can't really see them unless somebody share their showroom with me and i remember so rubber bees showroom that example i mentioned earlier that was one example right i had a lot of fun but i remember when my friend dylan's collection he was my second interview guest when he shared his showroom with um the whole batman black and white season one set a partner set to and donnie everybody in the same showroom i was blown away i've never seen partner statue or donnie or even rizzo in a showroom and i could see all of them at once and they all look better if you see them in the showroom i was blown away and the reason why i mentioned this specific example is because david mentioned way way back that um globally only three people that that dc and david know of that have the whole batman black and white physical um so like these are real collectibles in real life so that is extremely rare so if we think about a sneaker collection or a toy collection or wine collection many of these um collectibles many of these wine bottles or sneakers or comic books are not available for us to see simply because they are stacked away somewhere but if these brands like if these marvel or dc brands can create their own ar exhibition then they can start bringing the collectibles and have it visible to everybody we will be able to see you know the sub 15 of um the batman black and white uh, collectibles and that's going to be very exciting and you know people will be coming in and talking about them and you know socializing and i think it's going to be a lot of fun that's it you guys those are the three stories that i thought was very interesting interesting and i want to share with everybody and a special shout out to vv magic uh, silicon secure and mr mc1 for creating such you know great content especially for david to tune in and, and share the insights and the knowledge and his vision to everybody so that was a lot of fun if you enjoyed the video please give it a like let me know what's in the comment section below and don't forget to check out the vv omi card and subscribe now so that you don't miss out on the actionable and valuable insights everything about vv and the omi tokens thank you so much i'll see you again next time peace